Since I started talking about high ticket wholesale drop shipping on this YouTube channel, one of the main questions has always been, Tom, how do I find a supplier? So be sure to smash that like button because in this video, we're going to talk about just that. But before we get started, I did in fact, as I've mentioned in other videos, get banned on my big 90,000 follower Instagram account. So I started a new one at Ecom Tom. Check it down below in the description and in the pinned comment. Give it a follow. If you have any questions, ask them there. It's a much easier way to connect with people that are following me as opposed to the comments on YouTube. I don't know why YouTube doesn't have a chatting DM feature yet. They're kind of messing up. So I'm gonna give five reasons or five ways to find suppliers like this. No particular order. This is just kind of ways that I've found them. And before I wanna preface this, when you're finding a supplier in the past, you know, I talked about retail suppliers where you're just selling retail onto eBay or Amazon, then wholesale suppliers. Well, some of the whole, like mentioning CWR a lot. CWR is more of a wholesale, um, you know, just a, re they're a wholesale dropshipping supplier, but they don't own any of the brands. They have a like 28,000 SKUs and they will give them to you for wholesale price. Most always, yes, they'll be about the same price as the manufacturer, but you might not get them as cheap as from the manufacturer. And then again, also, you wanna be dealing with, if they're high ticket, a lot of them aren't gonna have tons and tons and tons of items. You know, the reason why CWR is good for what it does is because there's a lot of items, but if you wanna find specific manufacturers, get real deals, you wanna go straight to the manufacturer. Most manufacturers will be doing this for you. But some of them will say, hey, we don't, we don't distribute or we don't do anything. Check out this wholesale like a CWR. But most won't. Most will do it for you. So you want to be going straight to the manufacturer, the brand, the brand of this item. So if it's a specific brand. This is a brand name like Wilson Basketballs. You'd be contacting Wilson. I don't know why that just came in my head. I barely ever played basketball in my life. But that's that. The, or like uh, grills, Traeger grills. You want to be going to Traeger. Uh, I don't know if you can drop ship those. But so that's the difference. But you want to be going straight to the brand and then finding your way back from there if need be. But most of these that I've ever dealt with have always been going straight to the brand. They have it become the dealer portal or you call them or whatever and you're good to go. So number one is just gonna be a simple Google search. If you wanna find basketballs, you'd search basketball brands or basketball manufacturers or search basketballs and see what brands show up. From there, you can go through the entire Google search and you know, just do your own research. Is this gonna be very targeted? Meh, it'll be targeted. Will it be the best way to go about it? Probably not, but sometimes you can find suppliers through Google search if you go to multiple pages back that you wouldn't find through some of these other methods and those will be the, the less popular ones, which I always say you probably wanna start with the less popular ones you know, because of the fact that you, you will have less competition. So you do a Google search for whatever you're looking for. If you're niched, if you're not niched, it's whatever. Do the Google search. It, need, it should probably be a high ticket item. Basketballs aren't high ticket. Oops, dropped my pen. Aren't high ticket items. But you know, like I said, grills, something like that. Those are high ticket, sell those. Not all of them will drop ship for you. Not all of them will let you become a dealer. Some of them will be like, oh, we only allow people if you have a storefront or if you're dick sporting goods or whatever. But it is what it is. It's a numbers game, let's be honest here. Number two is using Google Shopping itself. You're gonna be running ads on Google Shopping. Why wouldn't you wanna check Google Shopping itself? You type in the same search phrase that you would type in on Google search or even just do it on Google search and the shopping ads pop up. If you wanna be a real ass, you could click the ad and charge somebody some amount of money with no intention of actually buying the item. Or if you wanna be nice, you could click on the shopping tab, then type in your search, and then you'll be good to go. From there, you can see all these other brands, and if, if you click on some of the brands that people are selling, then you'd be like, oh wow, these aren't just like all Walmart, Home Depot, Wayfair, or whatever. There's other people selling it. At that point, maybe that's a brand that you would wanna put some effort or some work into finding out, can I drop ship their items? Can I become a dealer of their items? And I mean, that's pretty much, that, that's gonna be a good way to find some suppliers here. I'm not saying you should just snipe every single thing out there, but I'm saying it is, it is definitely a way to find suppliers. And if you are going niche, you should probably, I mean, you don't always have to. Again, nothing's finite. You don't always have to know your niche, but if you do know your niche, and you're going niche and you know it well, then you probably already know a lot of these brands or you know which brands are gonna be good, which aren't gonna be good. But this is a way to find potentially new brands that maybe you've never heard of 
or are less popular or anything like that. Number three is going to be, I'd say a pretty damn good method. It's gonna be tedious. You probably wanna hire a virtual assistant for this. And that's just going on to a retail site. You could do Amazon, you could do Walmart, you could do Home Depot, people pick Wayfair, you could do whatever you want. And then you just wanna do a, a search for high ticket items. You can always sort by price or whatever in whatever niche you're looking for. And then at that point, just literally make a list. You could have a VA make a list of all the different brands. You could make your list, you could put whatever you want on this list. You know, do they have become a dealer portal? Do they have this, do they have that? Do they have items over a thousand dollars or whatever? And then from there you would, again, you don't really want to be doing this by hand yourself, but you could. And then you probably don't want to call them one at a time. You probably want to get a list and then go through and just make a bunch of phone calls. From there, you know, it's picking up the phone. I've said this, for years now, it's the way to find good suppliers. You know, Anybody can ap apply on a website where it says become a dealer. Anybody can do that. And if you're afraid to pick up the phone, then you're probably gonna do that. But not everybody's gonna pick up the phone and call because, oh, well, this one doesn't say become a dealer on it, so I don't, I don't know if they'll want me to become a dealer or if they even allow it. Pick up the phone and call. Why, why would you not? Like, it's, it's honestly, it's stupid if you don't. I'm gonna tell you that right now because there's so many out there that will, that will accept you, that will drop ship for you, that don't mention it anywhere on their website. And those are probably the ones that have much less people advertising about it or putting or selling their items on their website because a lot of them will go for the low hanging fruits. And you know, then those are the ones that have 50, 60, 70 people selling it. And the other ones have you know 10 or five or less so pick up the phone that's one of the big things to take away from this video but also check out retail websites you know it doesn't really matter which one if if your items would probably be found more on home depot or your niche then you go check out home depot if it's more home goods or whatever maybe go check out wayfair if it's something you know just it doesn't really matter walmart has everything pretty much amazon has everything pretty much and then just make sure if you're on like the amazons or the walmarts well, Wayfair has its own brands and has a bunch of like weird ones. So watch out for that. But same thing with Walmart and Amazon, you could be dealing with like a private label brand that only sells on like Amazon or Walmart. So you won't like find a website for them or you won't really find anything. So just make sure not to really waste your time on those. Number four is going to be trade shows. This is gonna be more tedious, but if you go to a trade show website, where they advertise their trade show, you can find the past year or the current future trade shows itinerary, just the whole layout of the entire trade show usually, and then all the different brands on there. You can go through one by one and then check it out. Also to mention with the retail website, those are four big ones that I mentioned. There's retailers out there for more specific things and they're not as big. And then you'll be able to find better brands that are more specific if you are in the same niche as that retail website. Take, for example, if you wanted to do something in the restaurant niche, then if you went to websterons.com, you're mostly gonna find more, more suppliers that are up your alleyway than if you just went straight to, to Walmart or something, you know? So at trade shows, again, you're gonna find a trade show in the niche that you're looking for or the niche that you sell in. And then from there, you can find you know restaurant trade shows and then at that point in time, you can then look through the entire itinerary. Again, you probably want to hire a virtual assistant for this and then just go through the websites. Why not pick the easier ones first, the ones that have become a dealer on it? Just make sure that that's a niche that, you know, sometimes if you're just finding out the niche, you don't know if some niches have are more likely to allow like dealers and drop shipping and stuff than others, I've noticed. Um, so just go through, find some suppliers. And that's probably where you're gonna find some ones that are very obscure as well, or ones that you didn't know about because like any supplier can go there and put their name on it. And if they're newer or just getting started out, they wanna make a name for themselves, they would go there. And then last but not least, there's gonna be directories. Again, there's like worldwide brands, inventory source has its own directory, but it's worldwide brands will give you some decent brands. Um, and I think it's worth checking out. But again, you wanna make sure I wouldn't say this is the number one for if you're finding high ticket because high tickets is gonna be a little bit more niched or specific high ticket wholesale drop shipping than if you're just looking for like wholesale drop shippers, you know? So yes, do they have a ton of suppliers on their website? Yes, they do. 
Um, when I say it's my number one way of finding them, no, it's not, not at all. It's probably my least common way of finding them. Have I found suppliers with them before? Yes. Is it something that I actively really do? No, I'd say some of the best is gonna be trade shows, retail websites, and then just going through Google Shopping or doing some form of a Google search is probably the best way to go about it. So hopefully these five tips helped. Um, again, my computer will absolutely overheat if I try to go inside of my computer and show all this stuff. Um, I'm trying to get my full computer set up that's in the United States down here somewhere. I'm trying to buy a house so I can actually like have a full setup and I don't just like live out of my backpack and suitcase 24 seven like I have for the last year almost. But yeah, so that's uh, five tips. If you have any questions about any of them, ask it down below. If you, if you think I missed anything, let me know. Check out the new Instagram, follow that. Yeah, that's, um, it, it's, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be bigger than what it once was before I got banned. I'm gonna show Mark Zuckerberg that I can do it again. And then, uh, yeah, be sure to like the video. And I think that's that. Thank you very much. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.